According to the Prime Minister of Pakistan, the state of economy has given Imran Khan sleepless nights. Naturally so. Pakistan is facing the biggest economic crisis in history. It has been ranked as a country with the fourth highest inflation rate in the world. Imran Khan's government has long evaded all responsibility for the current state of the economy. The Pakistan Prime Minister went as far as saying, comparing his cash-strapped nation with India. The Prime Minister of the country recently in a statement said that his country is in a better economic position than India without any evidence. Despite a $5 billion trade deficit, Imran Khan had argued that Pakistan remains, and I quote, one of the cheapest countries in the world. Listen in. पाकिस्तान क्या कर सकता था अभी भी पाकिस्तान सस्ता है हमारी पेट्रोल और डीजल की कीमतें देखें तेल की और कंपेयर करें हिंदुस्तान से बांग्लादेश से हम सबसे सस्ता मुल्क हैं अभी भी इस तरह के प्रॉफिट्स इन हालात में बनना तो कहते हैं कि जी बड़ी नाहल हुकूमत थी तो अगर नाहल हुकूमत थी तो कोविड से भी बचा लिया बिजनेस को भी बचा लिया बेरोजगारी से भी बचा लिया और कंपेयर करें हमें हिंदुस्तान से but now contradicting his earlier statement and perforce admitting the true state of affairs, Imran Khan has acknowledged the skyrocketing inflation in Pakistan. Listen in. This is the biggest thing for me. If you say that the one thing that I have said many times at night is only money. And I want to explain to you only money. Look, I have a lot of confidence. I have a lot of confidence. I have a lot of confidence. اس ملک میں صحافی ہیں ہمارے پاس ہم بڑے خوش قسمت ہیں کہ ہمارے پاس ایک ایسی بھی جرنلزم ہے جو کہ بڑا لوگوں کو انفارم کرتی ہے لوگوں کو آگاہ کرتی ہے ملک کے صورتحال سے لیکن بدقسمتی سے ایسے بھی ہیں جو سارا وقت مایوسی پھیلا دیتے ہیں کہ مہنگائی صرف پاکستان کا ایشو نہیں ہے کہ یہ اب ایک کرونا کی وجہ سے دنیا کے اندر جو سپلائی شارٹیجز ہوئیں یہ اب اس کی لہر آئی ہوئی ہے اور اس میں پاکستان اکیلا نہیں ہے ملوث اس مہنگائی میں The Prime Minister noted that when his government came into power it dealt with a massive account deficit The imbalance led to a surge in the price of imports Imran Khan cited the pandemic as a reason behind the rising inflation in Pakistan He went on to compare Pakistan with developed countries including the United States and Canada when the Tehreek-e Insaf or the PTI party swept to power in 2018, Imran Khan promised to do away with decades of corruption and cronyism. But his policies have done little to change the state of affairs. There has been neither critical nor any substantial effort by the regime to control soaring prices. Millions in Pakistan have been enduring the economic hardships. This threatens Khan's chances of re-election next year. Imran Khan also fears that this crisis could cost him his premiership. But the Prime Minister has warned the opposition that he would be more dangerous for them if ousted from power. Vyond's Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik has sent us more details in this next report coming from Karachi. Take a look. Just 12 days after the Pakistani Prime Minister had claimed that the country's economy was in good health and that there was nothing to worry about, in a televised interaction with general public, over this past weekend, the Pakistani Prime Minister has now claimed or rather made a revelation that inflation is a bigger challenge for the country and that his, has kept him up all night. Now, this was a rather emotional appeal when he was flooded with questions by general public, uh, which included uh, from a range of issues uh, that included political crisis to the battling economic conditions of the country. The Pakistani Prime Minister's claim, uh, uh, in fact, he has or he had also pushed saying that the country's economic conditions, rather inflation conditions, were not as bad compared to other countries, which is contrary to facts on ground, given that Pakistan is currently battling country's worst ever inflation and economic crisis. Anas Malik in Karachi, Pakistan for Vion World is One. Vion World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.